Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here at a roadside complex in the desert of Kazakhstan. And we have a nice breakfast this morning, bread and eggs, and a nice coffee. We actually ended up spending two nights here because after checking on the map, we realized that we were really close to a super cool place to visit, but we'll tell you more about it when we hit the road. We have a long road ahead here in Kazakhstan, so let me show you guys where we're headed. So we have now made it all the way up to here, and over the next few days, we're gonna be following this road north to Aktobe, and then this road south, round, 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 to reach the city of Aktau on the Caspian Sea. Today, we're aiming to make it up to this junction here, where hopefully there's another roadhouse waiting for us. It's about 320 miles and Google Maps says it will take us six hours and 30 minutes. It's already 7.15, so better hit the road, let's go. Look at this guy. Check out what they have here as like a restaurant seating area. We thought that's so cozy. So we had a nice dinner here <laughs> and a nice lunch here. And we were just like having our meal and then laying down straight after. <laughs> Plus this place was just 10 pounds a night. Uh, from Anglia, yeah, Aktobe <laughs> Aktau. Bye bye. bye. See, see you later. Twenty-four miles straight. <laughs> wow, I think it's a new record. So yesterday we took a day off to go and visit the Baikonur Cosmodrome because when we got to the hotel after the last ride, I had a look on the map and I said to Lavi, "Oh my God, we just rode past the place where the first man in space launched from and the first object in space." Which is absolutely crazy. We couldn't believe it, but we drove already another 50 miles so basically we had to make a decision do we just carry on and forget about it or do we take the day off and ride back and go and see it and we were like well this place is in the middle of nowhere and we just rode straight past it so i think we have to go back and see it but anyway let me tell you guys a little bit about the baikonur cosmodrome because it's a pretty amazing place in world history so the baikonur cosmodrome was created in 1955 when this was part of the soviet union and then in 1957 this place became part of world history when the first ever satellite was launched into space from there called Sputnik 1. And Sputnik is a really cute name I think. <laughs> yeah it is isn't it? <laughs> and then just four years later which doesn't really sound like enough time to make sure it's safe but four years later the first man in space was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome Yuri Gagarin in 1961. This was part of the US Russian space race and it's pretty crazy because Yuri Gagarin actually only beat the first American into space by like three weeks or something. So it was like super close, but Yuri Gagarin goes down in history as the first man in space. 
we actually looked up if we can do like a little tour or something but apparently tours like this are really expensive so we basically thought okay right let's just ride to the place and just see if we can go in and, and check it out we got to the front entrance and we said oh hey we want to come in and have a look around and the guys were just like no not possible <laughs> yes no way <laughs> So actually, I didn't realize, but the place is still an operational space station. Kazakhstan have leased the entire place to Russia. It was like a deal they made after the fall of the Soviet Union. So Russia are still launching all of their spacecrafts from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Yeah, and it's so crazy that it's actually in Kazakhstan and I really had no idea. Because it's actually still an active high security space station site, uh, they basically told us without joining a very expensive tour and having the special permit to be able to go in basically the closest we could get was the entrance but they did have a really cool display in front of the entrance where they showed a few like mock-ups of some rockets and there was a replica of sputnik one the first ever object that humans launched into space so at least we could see that which was still pretty cool and it's still a pretty special place to be yeah totally yeah. come on hello guys hello guys oh, oh sorry sorry <laughs> Get them a bit beautiful beautiful wow and you know what's super crazy i looked up online and apparently the last launch from the space station was two days ago such a pity really i would have loved to like see something even though if it's like really far in the distance guys just make sure if you pass through this area here check the days when they will launch a rocket maybe you will be lucky and see one <laughs> Yeah, you probably could have seen it from the road if you were passing just at the right time. Yeah. But we had no idea and apparently we weren't there at the right time, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Break number one, 100 miles down, 220 to go. Yeah. Oh. Wow, it's just crazy how much nothing there is in Kazakhstan. I mean, since we left Turkestan, this has basically been it. It's just flat, with some bushes, but mostly desert. It's absolutely crazy. I didn't realize that there was such a massive expanse of like, absolutely nothing here. We've got a camel train crossing the road. Hello guys. Hello. <laughs> the trucks are just beeping to try and scare them off. Oh, oh there they go. Oh. <laughs> Guys, look, 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 look. There's nothing. Oh, and look on the other side. It's also nothing. Nothing everywhere. Just a lot of good camp spots. <laughs> we just saw a sign that said that this over there is actually the edge of a meteorite crater. It said it was 10 kilometers from this road and we looked down the track and it was just a completely sandy track. Like there was no chance that we'd be able to make it. <laughs> no. But I'm gonna see if I can get a satellite view for you guys so that you can see this crater. Because from what I can see from the edges of it that it is a pretty big meteorite crater. Really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we've been looking for a place to stop for lunch for quite some time now and something's finally come up. Literally, it's been nothing for such a long time. For ages, absolutely ages. We said we were going to stop around midday, but we just had to keep riding. We had nothing, we don't really have any food with us. Well, this one looks really busy. Really oh. busy. 
the right place for us to find some lunch. Yeah, it's probably the only place. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone is here. Oh, here we go. Look at this. I found a space for us. Perfect. Over there. Cool. Let's just get whatever, eh? Get whatever we can. All right, so we're all full and we just filled Bumblebee up as well. We had another Lachman soup. Yeah, and it's so funny because I asked the lady if they have anything with vegetables and she looks at me like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know, you I, mean I, vegetables. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, I, I'm not even bothered, you know. We have two Lachmans, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's basically like a brothy soup with some bits of beef in it. Yeah. And then it's got like some chopped potatoes and carrots. One or two peppers. Yes. No, but it was good. It was, it was really good. And now we have just about 150 miles left until we reach the place where we want to stay. We haven't picked an accommodation, so we will just go there and see if they have anything available for us. Yeah, it should be another roadhouse with like rooms and a restaurant, so it should be pretty similar to where we started the day. Yeah, but it's pretty crazy because we tried to pay with card as well here in the restaurant or for the petrol, and we couldn't pay with card in ages, so I'm pretty happy here that we got enough cash for now. It's because yeah. here in Kazakhstan they've got this thing called Caspi and it's basically like they scan a QR code on their phone and then it makes like a transfer between their banks yeah. but of course we don't have a Caspi account we don't have a Caspi bank so yeah. a lot of places are like don't even use card anymore no. they just do like cash or Caspi. Yeah. Anyway some more exciting Kazakhstani landscapes to come hey. <laughs> for sure some more emptiness to come. So we just took our last break of the day, but we've also put on our rain gear because ahead is looking pretty dark. And actually a Russian biker just pulled in here before called Vitali, and he told us that it was raining where he came from, which is that direction. But anyway, we've only got another hour, hour and a quarter to go to finish the day. So, yeah. so it's not so bad. Then we'll be ready for another Lachman, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy because they don't have supermarkets here on this uh, on the road. So we haven't had the chance to, to get any supplies actually in days yep. now. Yeah, we haven't had nearly as much bread and cheese as we would like. And it's super crazy as well because the Russian guy, he just told us that he rode all the way from St. Petersburg three days ago. Yeah, pretty much at the same time it took us to go from like Shimkent to here, he yes. came from St. Petersburg. I can't get it why some bikers can ride that much in a day. He, he says like he can do 1,500 kilometers in one day. Yeah, and we struggle to make 500 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, wow, this wind is getting bad as well. Oh, and I can already feel some raindrops on the helmet. Yeah. So I reckon it might be a bit of a miserable last hour. Yeah, I actually, I don't think that we can use this camera anymore. <laughs> it's absolutely not working very well. Look at that. I don't even know if it's recording. Oh man, technology is always breaking. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Where's the peace go, bro? <laughs> Finally getting somewhere. But 
it is wet and absolutely freezing cold guys we made it happy the life Yay! wow that got pretty crazy towards the end hey it was so super hectic and i really forgot how much i hate to ride in the rain it was just one truck after the next after the next and yeah, it like... was windy and the rain in our face and i was so cold my rain gear is not waterproof at all my whole leg part is all torn up and stuff so it's not really working very well i really hope that we didn't break our media mode with the gopro 10. yeah so at the moment i'm just sort of airing it out because this allows us to connect our microphones to our front gopro that's on my chin this is not waterproof it's like water may be resistant i don't know if it's gonna work tomorrow yeah let's see fingers crossed but i'm really really happy that we found this room here it's really nice it's really clean i think we will have a good night and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time Bye.